<laughs> this is why I don't like wearing foundation because I know foundation is a big reason why people don't do well with this sort of stuff. <laughs> And I just like certain things. I like my lips to be tinted. And I like my skin to have the most basic skincare and moisturization. But I like a little color on my eyes. I like my eyelashes being done. I wanna try and figure out how to get rid of these black circles on my eyes. They're not even circles, they're just triangles at this point. Oh my gosh, not even Satan's gonna be able to get rid of these black circles. Well, maybe, I don't know. I have to ask, see what he says. Hmm. But I don't wear foundation or anything because I'm scared. But now it's my first big spot. Oh my God, that's so wild. Okay. And then I'm just gonna put some lip balm on and head out because it's raining outside. There, my eyebrows are done. Whew, lovely. Mm -hmm. I'm just popping downtown. Got a few errands to run. Grab a few items that I have been meaning to get for a while, but because of my anxiety, sometimes it takes me quite some time to sit and really plan out my route, how I'm getting there, where I'm going to first, and how quickly I can get out <laughs> and then just get back home. Um, So it takes me a little while. Ooh. It's so minimalist. Just doing like a very, very, very light tinted lip balm from NARS. This one is Laguna. So it's like a glittery brown. I don't know how well you're gonna see that. Stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Can you see that? Can you see that? I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Hmm. Not neutral. Not as pink. But yeah, I love the packaging. It's so shiny. It's so shiny and pretty. It's nice. I like it. Anyway. I need to get going. It's raining, so I'm not putting any mascara or anything else like that on my eyes. I was considering maybe putting a little bit of my gold on my eyelids. I don't know. I don't care. I need to just go. As long as my lips and my face is moisturized, I'm good. I like to keep things really, really simple. Um, because I'm lazy. <laughs> Let's all embrace laziness this year, guys. 2023. A different form of patience. It's taking a while to get out the bathroom. All right. I'm just gonna... <laughs> anyway, see you in a while. <laughs>that's what happens when you're married cushions everywhere cushions <laughs> you're too funny i love it okay this is what okay well so the other day i picked up this book the Toronto Book of Love by Adam Bunch published by Dandan Dan Press and I know nothing about this book <laughs> I only can tell you what's on the blurb um, and what I'm learning from this particular video now for the past three or so years I have just been obsessed obsessed with the city of Toronto its history um, it's just my way of trying to get more intimate with the city that I have adopted as my home and 
one way that I've been able to do that is through reading fiction and non-fiction works that are set in Toronto or about Toronto or by Toronto writers, poets, essayists, you name it, that get to shed some light, ideally, on the city of Toronto or at least on the province of Ontario in general. Um, I've just kind of had a very unbiased kind of way about it, of a way of going about it. I've just been reading anything and everything that I can get my hands on. Um, and it's been a really intriguing and a very interesting journey so far, mostly because everybody was going through like this, you know, global situation for the past three years. I haven't been able to get out and explore the city like I'd hoped. Um, and so in doing so, researching and reading has just been a huge help and a huge comfort for me. So when I picked up this book the other day, it was purely accidental. I just let my intuition guide me. I knew that I wanted to get a book, ideally, that had more to do with the geographical landscape um, and how it's developed. <laughs> and if I couldn't find that, that I wanted to find something to do with hockey because I'm trying to learn a little bit more about hockey and trying to embrace it as like the national sport um, in order to understand it as well. And if I couldn't find that, then I was just gonna let my intuition guide me. I couldn't find anything on those two particular topics. And then I just happened to come across two books, um, the Toronto Book of the Dead and the Toronto Book of Love. And I picked up this one. As a budding romance author myself, anything that I can find that is romance related um, and anything to do with the history or the structure of Toronto as a city or Ontario as a province, I consider to be part of um, my wealth of research and information that I could probably potentially then use for future books of my own. I've already written, um, or at least I'm working on four novels right now that I've spontaneously started working on over the past two years um, that are all based here in Toronto to do with the immigrant experience or whether it's a local person from here I need to try and make my stories seem a little bit more believable so I'm trying to understand and get more intimate with the city through other forms and other works that I can find about the city as well as the province to make it more more make them more of an enjoyable read <laughs> I just, yeah, I just thought I would share that. So anyway, this is the Toronto Book of Love by Adam Bunch. Let me just read the blurb to you because this is basically just what hooked me. I'm very simple when it comes to books. I tend to go into a bookstore either with a mission for a particular set of books by particular authors or at least by particular authors or just focusing on those particular authors or the other time it's just intuition. I go in, I have a browse, I see what's available. If something seems intriguing, I'm picking it up. I'm at least giving the blurb a read before I decide whether or not I'm actually gonna buy that particular book. But when I saw this, I immediately knew this was something that I needed in my arsenal. So let me just read the blurb to you and then I'm gonna get back to this really interesting video. I will link it down below, which explores um, the reasoning behind Adam Butch's reasons for compiling this particular book together. He seems like a really interesting author and I'm really intrigued to learn more about his stuff. So I am going to be picking up the next book at some point. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would take this moment out during my day just to kind of share that with you. So let me just read the blurb and then I'm disappearing. <laughs> Toronto's past is filled with passion and heartache. The Toronto Book of Love brings the history of the city to life with fascinating true tales of romance, marriage and lust. From the scandalous love affairs of the city's early settlers to the Prime Minister's wife partying with rock stars on her anniversary, from ancient First Nations wedding ceremonies to a pastor wearing a bulletproof vest to perform one of Canada's first same-sex marriage ceremonies. Home to adulterous movie stars, faithful rebels and heartbroken spies, Toronto has been shaped by crushes, jealousies and flirtations. The Toronto Book of Love explores the evolution of the city from a remote colonial outpost to a booming modern metropolis through the stories of those who have fallen in love amongst its ravines, church spires and skyscrapers. So yeah, I just think it's really intriguing and it's kind of cute as well. The cover's just gorgeous. So I just... What a way to get into it with the city of Toronto. I can't wait to get into it. And that history of romance and love would be there in this moment.
I've just opened the contents page because I was just curious. Again, I know nothing about this book, so I'm literally experiencing this for the very first time. I, anyway, the contents page kind of goes through different points throughout history, um, at least in the more modern sense, I think. Um, and it just seems really like interesting. So most of the stories, there's like a few stories in each section. Um, or at least from a certain historical period um, in Toronto. So I'm just going to read those off for you because I find it really interesting. So um, the first section is founding, the second, the War of 1812, the third, democracy, the fourth, the booming metropolis, the fifth, the great wars, the sixth, the modern city. And then there's like the epilogue and ongoing history of kissing in Toronto and that sort of stuff. So I think it's really cute. It's just very intriguing. I, because there's two books already out, so this being the second book of the series, um, I'm very intrigued to find out what other topics of history um, and what areas of Toronto's history Adam Bunch is gonna be going on to next. So I'm gonna be keeping an eye on him. Um, he seems like a really cool and very approachable kind of person from this video that I've been watching. Um, so I'm gonna be keeping an eye on him <laughs> because I'm, he's one of the people that's gonna get me, you know, feeling a bit more connected to the city. So I don't know, I'm intrigued to find out what's next. <laughs> I'm not going to see much of my face right now because I'm kind of rushing a little bit. So I went back and I got it. So I have it now. I have book one. At the same time, I also picked up ooh, Stroll, Psychogeographic Walking Tours of Toronto by Sean Mikalef, illustrations by Marlena Zuba, published by Coach House Books, which looks like this. It's actually really nice totally unexpected again um there's like these cute little illustrations i don't know how well you're going to see that but hopefully you can that sort of thing and in the back there was also a great big map so at some point i'm going to pull it out and i'm going to stick it on my wall because there's like a great big space on my wall i'm going to stick it there just to make everything look a bit more fun <laughs> so yeah so i got some fantastic new books so stroll and the toronto book of the dead i'm gonna be busy i'm gonna be busy but anyway i have to go I'm still exploring the world of makeup through subtle everyday looks um, and experimenting with skincare. So I picked up a few items 
from Sephora, which I've been having a great deal of fun with. Uh, but the most important aspect, other than the need sticks that you can see there that came with sharpeners, <laughs> very handy, uh, is the skincare obsession. So this is my first set of items from The Ordinary. Um, after using their regimen builder, I was able to build a much better idea of what I would like to do for my skin and what areas I wanna focus on, which for me would be dark spots, anti-aging, because I'm now a woman of a certain age, um, and just keeping hydration locked into my skin the best that I know how. So yeah, these are some of my goodies. Just wanted to share. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go. Next seat. I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> this is a children's book. This is Toronto ABC by Paul Cavello. I've borrowed this from um, the library and I'm using my Libby app. Um, it's a very, very juvenile book. However, it has been incredibly helpful so far. So I'm not gonna go through the entire book. Um, but as you can see here, it says A for AGO, which is the Art Gallery of Ontario. B for Blue Jays, C for Casaloma. So it's like, it's really basic stuff for children, but I'm actually finding it to be incredibly helpful. Um, these are things I've never been to. I'm, I'm dying to see the Blue Jays. I'd love to go to Casaloma so I can say that I've been there. I still haven't been to the AGO. Um, so as I'm going through this book, and even though it's technically for very, very young children, I'm actually finding it to be quite helpful. So I'm gonna start writing up a list in my commonplace book um, and just write a little bit about each of those places that are actually listed in this book. Um, and then hopefully as the year or as the next two years go by, I should be able to tick them off my list because as I've gone through, the distillery district. I've been there during the pandemic. I've never been there outside of the pandemic before. So I'd like to visit it at different points of the year. So definitely for Christmas, um, definitely during the summer um, and stuff like that. So I'm actually gonna make a list and I'm actually really grateful for a book like this. As basic and as juvenile as it is, it's actually proving to be very helpful for someone like me who's still you know, a newcomer to the city of Toronto. So yeah. <laughs> I'm going to work my way through this book and write a very, very nice list because I love writing lists. Um, but yeah, this is uh, last week's vlog that I'm currently uploading right now. It's trying to go into like 4K processing or whatever. So yeah, while I'm waiting for that to do that, which I'm sure you guys have already seen that vlog, I'm going to get on with making another list. <laughs> hmm. So far it's proving to be... Uh, just nothing but lists this month, or at least at this starting point of the year. So yeah, lists and more Toronto stuff. <laughs> Thank you for making it this far in the video, if you have. I just wanted to quickly show you the map, because I don't think I did, um, from this book. So hopefully you can see it. I'm still in two minds about whether or not I'm going to put it up, because now that I've actually had a good look at it, it's a very sort of like general and broad perspective of the GTA, the GTA being the Greater Toronto Area, or the Greater Toronto Area, or the Six. Everyone calls it the Six here, Jesus. Um, but that's what it looks like. It looks really cool. So I don't know. I'm gonna wanna put it up, but I'm kinda not sure. So we'll just have to see. I guess once I put it up and once I kind of figure out what I want to do with this sort of like notice board area, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I just want to surround myself in all things Toronto and Canada so I can continue on this journey um, and just kind of see where things take me, I guess. So, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go. The week ahead's going to be very busy um, and I shall see you again very soon.
Thank you for spending time with me and for watching my video. <laughs>